Hello everyone, welcome to another episode review of Interviews with Monster Girls. This time episode number 2 and, spoiler alert, I will be reviewing the episodes. So, if you didn't watch it yet, watch it before you watch my video, okay? So, while the first episode was centered around Hikari, the vampire girl, and uh, Takeuchi, the teacher, and a little, just a little bit of world building, I say just a little bit because there is not much to explain, just that, that there are monster people or monster girls, I don't know, in the world. So, the second episode was centered in Machi, the Dulahan girl. We learned that there are only three Dulahans in the world and Machi is one of them. That just proves that interviews with monster girls is indeed different from other kinds of fantasy or monster girls anime and manga because in other anime they are really common or even if not common they are not rare like three dulas in the whole world but anyway Machi is interested in she wants to go on a date with a boy and she likes to be coddled and she likes that someone holds her head that's strange but okay kind of makes sense i guess but she feels lonely and as the teacher says it there is a reason for that because all the time she is carrying her head around and it's like there are two bodies for her, her head and her actual body. Of course she has a crush on the teacher and Hikari sets up a date for them. And of course being Hikari, she just says that Machi can't use her body. Machi's body will be at Hikari's home with her, while the teacher go out carrying Machi's head around. And that's it's kind of a weird date, but that's what she wanted, right? I actually don't have a problem with might she have a crush on her teacher? I had preferred that she didn't have it, but okay, because I guess it's common for girls and girls like Mesh not being Abdullah, but with her being lonely, feeling lonely and everything and needing someone to talk to. Okay, I, I guess it's common for students to have a crush on some of their more negative teachers so okay after Meshi talked to the teacher and asked him to hold her head and everything she goes on a date with him and they start building a relationship together not this kind of a relationship but I liked how everything went out how the teacher was like didn't didn't think anything she, she, for him she was just a student wanting someone to go around and to talk and I really I really like that because I feel like this anime needs to be different from the others. I didn't redo the manga so I I'm just watching the anime. So what what again what Demi Chan has different is the guy, the main guy is the teacher and only the, a teacher for them. At least that's what he's doing. Match has a question on him, but okay, that happens. And it's a slice of life in May about young girls and that was maybe supposed to happen, okay? All right. As Matchy talked to the teacher and as they 
went out on a date and everything you can see that I always forget the teacher's name, Takeuchi, something like this. Uh, you can see that he wants to know more about the living humans, but he also wants to do his his part as being a teacher. He gives some counseling to them, and he, I, I love it how at the end of the episode he talked to the director asking him to give permission for Matt to use a backpack instead of a regulation bag because it will be way easier for her to, to carry the, the bag and I also see how this anime at least this part of Takechi going on going out with Machi has something to do with real life because as Takeuchi was carrying Machi's head he, he talked about well it's, it's not easy to walk around carrying a head on your hands and your hands will be busy holding a head so that's why he talked about the whole we use a backpack thing and he also had some insight about ah because when you you walk your neck moves and your whole body, whole body moves so your eyes adjust and you don't feel uh, sick motion sickness because you're walking but when he holds match and walks around he just moves her head up and down and then he tries to to correct this motion on his hands so she doesn't feel sick and this this whole thing about the teacher learning these problems and difficulties that Meshi may have since that that kind of of think, thinking will be great if people in real life did this because if you start putting yourself in someone else's situation you may think okay but oh, in this school we use regulation bags and that's it but when you start thinking what well, but her hands are busy with carrying her head so she you have some problems carrying a regulation bag so she must need a special uh, permission to use a backpack even if the others don't the others can't use a backpack that's how the world is supposed to work because if someone has a clear advantage you should do something to correct or at least alleviate that disadvantage so if you if you don't see or hear well you should have something to help you and like for example the vampires the government gives blood to them so they won't die because or they die or they suck blood from someone and these kind of things that they they try to to solve on Danny Chan's interview with monster, interviews with monster, monster girls that's how the world is supposed to work and how we as people have to start start thinking about how can we improve the lives of, of the people around us who need some assistance or who need some special rules for for them to be at everyone else level you know and that's it i really love this episode and for me it's clearly a top three from of this season along with konosuba and that other anime that i didn't review here but with the two two the boyfriend and girlfriend that don't like themselves they like their teachers and everything but i'll talk about the this anime lady okay leave a comment if you is if you are watching the michelle wakata itai 
interviews with Monster Girls and tell me what did you think about this episode, okay? Bye and see you later!